Hello my friends, it is Monday. Today I am going to make some puffy sidewalk paint for you to dry at home. The ingredients that I have are flour, dish soap, food coloring or watercolor, a bowl to mix everything, a spoon to help mix, one cup for measuring, and a tablespoon for the stove. Now that I have gathered all my ingredients and all my tools that I need for making my paint, I'm going to take one cup of flour. I have an apron on so I don't make a mess and it's just in case I do make a mess, it just gets on my apron. I take out my cup of flour and I run my hand across the top to make sure that it is correct. And if you make up a little mess, that's okay, we just clean it up later. I put my one cup into the bowl. My next ingredient is just water. I take my bowl with my one cup of flour and I take one cup of water. I use cool water. I don't think it matters which one you use, cool or hot water. Now I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to mix the flour and water until there are no clumps. Now I have taken my water and my flour and I make sure the consistency is nice. There are no more lumps in it. Now I'm going to mix in my salt. Now I do not have a tablespoon which the recipe calls for. So I'm going to take a teaspoon and three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. So I'm going to pour in three times. I have my dish soap. I fill it to the top. There is one. There is two. And there is three. I am now going to stir my soap into my flour and water mixture until it is all combined. Oh yeah, that is nice. Uh -huh. That is looking good. And then I am making blue. So I'm going to add five to ten drops of my watercolor. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if it makes a nice blue. And then we stir it up. You can make whatever color you like. You can try mixing some colors. Maybe you mix yellow and red and you'll make some orange. I don't know, however you see it. I think mine is too light blue and I would like a darker blue so I'm going to add a few more color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to mix it one more time. Until it's a nice dark blue. Oh yeah, that looks so nice. I have made my mix here. It is nice and blue. I am now going to take my squeeze butter, take off the top, and I'm going to very carefully try to pour it into my squeeze butter. This, might, this part might get a little bit messy, but that's okay. The key is to do it very slow. If you have a funnel, that would probably work a little bit better, but I could not find one. That is working very nice. It's almost to the tippy top. Yes, this is going to be fun. 
And now I have my mixture into my bottle. As you can see, it is nice and blue. So let's take it outside and go draw. The thing I'm going to draw with mine is I'm going to try to make a hop. Oh yes, that is a nice looking hop. And then I scribble it in to fill it in a little bit. It's a little bit crooky, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna write a very special message for you. I love you, my friends. I hope you have fun time making this puppy paint. Show me how you do yours in the comments down below. And most of all, have fun. Thank you guys for joining me in my activity. I hope you guys have fun making the paint at home just like I did. If you like the video, you can share it if you like. And I hope to see you guys soon. I love you all, goodbye.